Welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Now, the folks at AG's Business Solutions Limited are joining us this morning to talk about a conference focused on regulatory compliance for digital digitalization, what you need to know about CROS. And so joining me here in studio are the chairman of AG's Business Solutions, Mrs. Angela Leloy, and manager of corporate governance services at AG's, Miss Lisa Kreese. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. So first of all, I'm coming to you first, Miss Leloy. Tell us about AG's in terms of what do you specialize in, you know, how do you help businesses? Well, I would say Aegis is really a full-service back-office company. So if you're incorporating a company and you need corporate services, you need to incorporate you, you need to your accounting, your payroll, your taxes, your HR, and audit. So we do, yes. it, we do it all. So um, what you find is it's like, if I could use a cheesy Thing saying we're the one-stop shop, but we're the place you could really come to, to, to really get all the services. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this is very important. The Registrar General's Department Companies Registry Online System, or the CROS. Ms. Chris, I'm coming to you. What is that CROS, and why is it so important for businesses to register? Okay, CROS, that really spells, speaks for the company's registry online system. This is a new system. It was recently established and launched 1st of February this year. It is now mandatory for all business owners or persons who wish to do business at the company's registry to register for, to use this platform. It will, this platform facilitates a, a digital, electronic, and remote use of it. So you can... Do your business in a more comfortable and convenient way. You can be on Maracas Bay and you have um, Wi-Fi connection right. and you can file your annual return. You could register a name to start a business. So it's really a, rev a way that the company's registry has. Uh, they are revolutionizing the way business is being done. Yeah. In terms of business, is it all business, sole trader, LLC, or just a, a particular type of business that need to register? Okay, well, the aim is for all businesses, yeah. right? Sole trader, LLC, NGOs, external companies. Yes, we do have a lot of foreign companies registered in Trinidad and Tobago, mirroring their registrations abroad. So it's even for foreign companies and stuff like that. So it's it's a vast cross section. And it's only just the beginning. It's the post um, COVID um, platform that, um, as you all may know, the government is in the um, the government goal is to have a digital society. So this is all part of going streamlining into the, the wider um, world of doing business. It's of to make course. us more global. Of course. And then the importance of the conference, because I understand there's a conference coming up on the CROS. Yes. Tell us about it. Yes, there is. Well, we're going to have a conference on the 28th of July at the Hyatt Regency. I think we are having that conference. I mean, just to give a little history. <clears throat> In the past, we, we just, we serve, we, we enjoy giving back. Honestly, we do. And some years ago, we had an idea of each quarter, we would have a business hour where we would give back to our clients and the wider public, you come in and you have one hour of meeting with our experts and, and we would choose a certain topic and to, to give back there. So it has grown and we need a bigger space now. <laughs> so we are the Hyatt Regency and we are having that. It's going to be a full day conference. And at that conference, we are basically speaking about digitalization, digitalization um, and different new um, regulations that have emerged, like in the financial intelligence section with ESG and of course with CROSS. Course so with it's going to yes. be, you're going to have a full plate of information and um, know how to digest on that day. Yeah. Um, Ms. Lilo, I'm coming to you because I'm wondering how can businesses be ensured that the information they input into that platform is going to be kept safe? safe? Well, they certainly are. Uh, I would say certain protections within the uh, system of the government. And I know a lot of people are concerned about that. It is not something I think people need to really worry about, mm -hmm. but I could understand today in today's society, you're so scared that if you put information out there, you know, it is, um, it's public knowledge. Yeah. But I would say from our experience, mm -hmm. clearly, that is not the case. It really is well protected. But mm -hmm. I could understand the fear 
And I would say there are the controls that are there. And I think this is why the digital side of it, which we are going to talk about, you know, will give people that assurance that everything is okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah because Alice. we we indeed, I mean, in, in Lazen with the company's registry, we have been assured that the system has underwent a lot of security checks before it was launched. Yeah. And um, I mean, we are all in a digital environment right now. And with that, we are at the risk of cyber attacks, right? So we like to say, and we encourage our clients, you know, to be very, very careful when you are handing over your, you know, your delicate information. Make sure you're giving it to someone who is credible. Yeah. All right. And in other words, act as your own human firewall, you know, mm -hmm. so that you don't get hacked. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should trademark that line. <laughs> I agree. Let's, let's talk about corporate governance. I mean, why is it important for us to even pay attention to corporate governance? Corporate governance, governance, as it, it, it speaks, this is this is this is how you manage or you run everything. I mean, yeah. inside of here, when we came in this morning, we were met in the reception area and we came through and we were told to turn off your phone and all of that. That is how you govern your show on a morning, mm -hmm. right? So corporate governance is important for corporations. I mean, there are rules, regulations, and processes that are outlined there for organizations. And it's important that if you want to run an effective credible ethical organization that you implement those practices so that yourself, your employees, and any stakeholder who does business with you would be assured that they are doing the right thing and they are not exposed to any risk and so forth. Yeah. You know, I'd like to interject sure. on that on that particular area because corporate governance is really, really, really vital to the the quality of the company that you're going to have mm -hmm. because it's setting your rules as as Lisa has indicated. But you know, when your corporate government is at the top, in terms of the decisions being made, the information, uh, how it's delegated, how uh, if people are able to uh, exercise their, their, their duties, it is important that you understand that having those ethical policies and procedures really will determine the quality of the organization yeah. you're going to have. Yeah, it's really important. Yeah, Ms. Chris. And, and it, it's not only within the organization, it's outside. You know, with proper corporate governance, you know well you are who you are accountable to. So that, okay, in your corporation, we could be accountable to the chairman yeah. and different things, but we are also accountable to the Board of Inland Revenue in some instances, to the National Insurance Board, with Companies Registry, Ministry of National Security. So once you have all your governments in, governance in line and the know how's there, you know, you are dealing inside, you know, giving your your reports and stuff inside, and you're also meeting the needs of the society at large, yeah. you know, and with that, you know, you, you, you become ethical, credible, and you position yourself for growth. I know you touched on it earlier in terms of some of the topics that we can see uh, during the conference, but you, there's a strong focus on digitalization. Why is that strong? Why is it so important for us to you know, focus on that? Yes, you mentioned the mandate of the government and in keeping with that mandate, but why should companies get on board with digitizing every aspect of their business? Well, I would say it makes life a lot easier to start <laughs> with, but there are risks yeah, in terms yes. of I think people are scared, uh, particularly as, as as Lisa said, cyber attacks. We are aware. I just throw it in. We all, I'm chairman of Cyber Eye as well. Oh. So in fact, we're having Ian John, who's yes. our CEO, talk on digitalization, yes. and I think it really is important for people to feel comfortable. I mean, I just did some sessions on chat GBT and it can be pretty scary when you realize what you could do yes. on that thing yes. in terms of <clears throat> what is in fact true or what is false. And I guess it could be similar in terms of digitalization, in terms of is my information secure? Can I, can I get out there to somebody I yeah. don't want? Yeah. And I think it's about really giving people the assurance of the controls that are there. In, but it's the way of the world. I mean, it's just look at people who have children, grandchildren, whatever. I mean, they were all on their computers, yes, right? Yes. They don't talk too much to people. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> digitalization, <laughs> we can say digitalization is the gift that keeps giving. Yeah. Because when you digitalize, you like you ease up some of your, your manpower skills so people can grow in different areas. And it's also necessary to stay re relevant mm -hmm. right now. Yes. So that is why businesses are going the way of becoming digitalized. You know, I mean, because Ms. Leloy spoke about chat GPT. I mean, 
you don't get into digital, the digital world, you are going to be left behind. behind yes. You know, so it's an investment to make so that you know your organization could be sustained. And sustained is, you know, you make that investment. We're not saying it's cheap. It is a hefty, but it keeps giving back and giving back and giving back. So digitalization is the way to it's go. It's the future. Yeah. yeah. The future. <laughs> Before you go, Miss Please, just tell us uh, when the conference is taking place and how we can register. All right. Um, the conference, as I said earlier, it's taking place on the 28th of July, which I believe is Friday after next. Right. And at the Hyatt Regency, uh, you can register on our website um, at aegisttt.com backslash cross backslash conference. Right. And yeah. there's a fee attached? Yes, there's okay. a fee attached. I don't know it top of mind, but there's a fee attached. We also have, you can call in, and we have someone now assigned to take calls and guide people through the entire process. It's an electronic registration, of course. <laughs> so there'll be someone there to guide them through yes. and to make it a lot easier. Yes. Mrs. Chris, Mrs. Leloy, thank you so much for joining us this morning. All the best for the conference that's taking thank place you. on the 28th. And I do hope that companies understand the importance of buying into this system. So thank you so much thank for you joining Kimberly. us. Thank you, Kimberly. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, that was the corporate governance uh, manager, Ms. Lisa Chris, and also the chairman of AG's Business Solution, Mrs. Leloy, Angela Leloy, just talking about that CROS, that very important online system, and that conference that's coming up on Friday, the 28th of July. You're on the Now Morning Show, but we have so much more coming up. We have the Reverb three-day music conference. So you don't want to miss that one. Stay with us. Oh,